Hello, my name is Yusuke Doi. Uh, thank you for coming, uh, Super Micro Booth. Uh, my, uh, I'm from Preferred Networks and collaborating uh, with Super Micro. And I'm uh, working as a corporate officer and VP of Computing Infrastructure. Today, I would like to talk about our challenge on Green 500. We made uh, number one position of Green 500 uh, list uh, twice. Actually, in this SC, we have awarded uh, third time number one uh, of the Green 500 list. And this time we extended our record uh, 30, percent plus, 30 plus percent and uh, now it's almost 40 gigaflops per watt. Uh, so a grand challenge is 50 gigaflops per watt. So we are very cl close position. So uh, let me say uh, how we, did we made uh, Green 500 number one three times is uh, today's topic. But uh, so today's main topic is about the MN3 is our supercomputer uh, and the MN core is the accelerator in it. And uh, we uh, in the technical detail is will be uh, talked in a, a different uh, Green 500 both. So I would like to introduce uh, some of the social impact of the deep learning and why we're working on that and why uh, uh, how we have collaborated with Supermicro. So, uh, first of all, uh, maybe most of you doesn't know uh, preferred networks much. Uh, maybe some of you know uh, on Green 500 list. So, uh, the problem is why we have to invest uh, so much on computing. So, preferred networks actually is not the computer company. We are a technology company and providing the solutions using deep learning and some robotics technology. Uh, founded in uh, March 20, uh, 2014, and we have many uh, uh, B2B business in various industrial domains, including transportation or manufacturing or life science or materials. So we have a computational chemistry uh, service uh, at, in the market called Matlantis or robotics and entertainment. So let me introduce uh, some of the aspects of our uh, computing business. One is the vision. So to find uh, something in the vision, uh, something in a uh, uh, picture is very uh, difficult, but it was enabled by uh, deep learning. So most of you believe maybe uh, deep learning will solve every problem, but it's still difficult because in the reality, you will have new product every day. So for maybe you have uh, one new snack uh, sold from last week, but then almost no uh, neural network can identify the snack box, or maybe uh, in the grocery store, uh, the how to wrap the vegetables is would be different from store to store. So you have to adjust uh, the uh, neural network according to the place, the market, the business. So uh, we have some pipeline to retrain the uh, neural network using uh, computer graphics and 3D scanning. So we can adopt a new product or a new uh, or different kind of uh, environment very, uh, uh, very fast. So this is one aspect we use deep learning, but the other thing is very different. So that is compute, computational chemistry. Uh, computational chemistry is to find a new product or to identify the characteristic of the chemical product using computers. Uh, but uh, just using the computer is not easy because the uh, computation of the molecule behavior is very time consuming. For example, if, uh, if we make uh, one Ex one experiment, it will take one month. It's too long. But using neural network, we can accelerate the process of computation, and we can approximate the result to find the uh, find the result on maybe in some cases it will be faster, one hundred thousand times than our ordinary DFT. That is the uh, classic method. So uh, there are many, uh, so the deep learning is immersing in many business fields, not just about the identifying dog from cats. So it's in real business, as you know. So 
so the deep learning is changing uh, the business, rule of business, because it can handle the uh, complexity of the reality. So, re so the, as you know, the business is full of complex problem that is not easily be handled by uh, automatic uh, process uh, run by run, running on computers. But deep learning is now uh, making that in very fast manner. So the rule of business is changing very in a drastic way, uh, including manufacturing. So manufacturing is already automated, but it's very uh, in uh, how can I say u uh, uniform way. But so uh, it, it's for mass mass production, but. Uh, for non-uniform production, then uh, we may need some AI-ish uh, program. Or biohealthcare, we have to adopt uh, some medical, uh, some, some medicines to uh, your, uh, your DNA, for example. Or uh, energy materials, many things are changing. So, uh, the, so then the, uh, we have to have a good deep learning model to compete with our competi your competitors. Or uh, you, you have to have better machine learning model to support your customers. Otherwise, uh, you will have problem. So then what, how to find the good deep learning or machine learning model? Of course, expertise on uh, deep learning or expertise in the domain knowledge is very important. But another important issue is the computing power. So uh, we expect uh, next. Uh, or coming decade will be a uh, race for computing power uh, in many cases. But there is some difficulty to pass computing power because in short, the computer is the machine to take data and program to uh, produce some result. But to make that, it will need to take power and uh, uh, make some heat. And it will make the chip hot. And if the uh, chip becomes too hot, it cannot work. So terminal limit is very hard limit of computation. So if you need some power, you have to have very good cooling method. That is, um, so many, many companies now are working on liquid cooling or immersive cooling, or you have to have very efficient silicon. That is what we are working. So efficient computing is not the side effect. It's the objective of the computing. So the Green 500, that is the uh, twice annually list of uh, the list of efficient supercomputer in the world. Uh, so the top 500 is the a uh, high performance computer in the world and the green 500 is the efficient computers among uh, top 500, 500 list and uh, we have been in uh, in the green 500 list for these two years and uh, this time we got a 39.38 gigaflops per watt that is big jump uh, from the last green 500 list and uh, I will have uh, some. I will make some talk in uh, uh, Green 500 both. If you have interest, please join. Uh, maybe it starts from 5:15 or so in uh, technical program. So uh, for the detail, I will talk later. But uh, let me introduce uh, about MN Core, our, our accelerator, briefly. So this is the uh, picture of MN Core. Actually, uh, pi this is very simple but huge processor. It is optimized to compute uh, large matrix, and the large matrix is basically uh, exactly basically same as deep learning deep neural network, and it can each of the cell can compute some part of matrix, and uh, this uh, this chip has. A bunch of uh, this chip has plenty of cells, and so it can compute large matrix at one cycle. So uh, we have uh, s some collaboration with Professor Makina and Professor Hiraki is over there, and uh, uh, we are working. Uh, t we have uh, worked hard to make this chip, and uh, so the technical detail is uh, maybe uh, later. But uh, let me introduce some philosophy. So this. I believe this is very important change 
uh, on the boundary between the hardware and the software. So um, this text is from, from Professor Makino's, uh, actually originally Japanese sentence, but translated in English by providing only the function necessary for the computation and uh, controlling them completely from soft with software, we can achieve high execution efficiency and power, uh, power efficiency with minimal hardware. That means uh, ordinary computer is very complex. Our computer is very simple. Ordinary computer is kind to programmers because uh, programmers can write simple program to uh, run some uh, computation, but our computer requires software to uh, make the computation uh, efficiently. So our pr we need uh, better programming, but uh, with better programming, it's very efficient. So the MN3 is the system we have made, we have built with uh, our uh, accelerators, with uh, the sh server we have made uh, with the collaboration with Supermicro. And that the actual server is behind the uh, stage. So if you have time uh, later, please uh, take a look. And uh, we have uh, made uh, uh, 48 nodes into one supercomputer to uh, make uh, our uh, deep learning and uh, some supercomputing workload. So this is the server. It's I think it's very uh, beautiful server. It's and the uh, the problem of uh, our accelerator is actually it's very large. It's compared to ordinary uh, PCI module, it's, it's, it's huge and it's heavy. So uh, to some, if we put this module as, as if it's usual PCI module, then the uh, stress, uh, mechanical stress on the PCI card edge will be too high. So to avoid the mechanical damage on the PCI slot, we have asked Supermicro folks to uh, make a support mechanism to uh, um, mechanically support uh, the uh, weight of the this card. Uh, so 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 it's very special, specially designed for us. So it's one one of the problem is uh, one one of our problem is that and the Supermicro folks have solved that uh, in very elegant way. And uh, the other problem is of course that in this kind of uh, uh, supercomputing is the fight against the heat. And so we have asked uh, good ventilation and uh, this uh, front mask is, uh, is uh, how can I say, collaboration between we and our uh, heat thermal engineer and uh, uh, Supermicro's uh, engineer to make a good ventilation while uh, we need, uh, we need a good looking server. So, uh, so I think, I think uh, it's, it's better than what I expected when I, we put it in the rack. It's silver and everything is silver. Even the switches is from Cisco and it's also silver. So it's very silver uh, supercomputer and I like, I like it very much. So, uh, so this one is the server as, uh, on the backstage. So, so can I use the pointer here? So uh, this rail supports the, uh, this uh, MN core card. So this one is the front side, but even in front side, there is some uh, screw and uh, a rail to support the uh, weight. So it's, it's a very, how can I say, uh, uh, a smart way to support this, uh, our heavy card. So now it's working and they're working for two years and making a good record of uh, uh, Green 500 and working as a deep learning computer. So, am I too fast? Okay, so uh, this is a wrap up. Uh, so we have a deep learning, accelerated deep learning computer and uh, I hope it will change the world, especially in the uh, world of business. Uh, so we are actually deep learning company. So we, need, we, are, we are trying to change the world using deep learning. And uh, because the deep learning can handle a very complex problem, but it will need huge computing power. And uh, because, so we have made our own uh, super efficient deep learning computer accelerator. 
but uh, we ha uh, we are not server vendors, so we cannot make a server system. So we have asked Supermicro Fox to make a actually working supercomputer. And the important point I would like to emphasize again is that the uh, boundary between the hardware and software is now changing, rapidly changing. So GPU and the CPU is also uh, changed. And uh, our accelerator MN core has more control on software, on the computation. And uh, the computational efficiency on accelerator is very important because the uh, of course, we have only limited energy, or uh, if, we, if we use too much energy, of course, the, uh, there should be some problem on carbon dioxide or something like that. But uh, as I said, the uh, efficient computing itself is the goal for the high-performance computing. And uh, again, it, uh, we, are, we have world, world most efficient computer. And uh, some breakdown of the efficiency gain we have made. So 29 to 39 gain is very huge uh, in terms of green 500 list. And in the same hardware, it's very huge gain. And we'll be, uh, uh, I will talk uh, about that in green 500 buff, uh, 515 p.m. Uh, in room 1240 to 242. So thank you very much. And uh, uh, please visit our booth. We have uh, our booth over there. Uh, after uh, visiting the Supermicro servers or, uh, or uh, MN, MN core servers behind this stage, uh, we have uh, another, uh, we have the uh, booth and uh, we can talk about MN core. Uh, we will have MN core board or MN core chip uh, over there. Uh, thank you very much and uh, thank you for joining uh, from uh, YouTube stream and thank you for joining in live. Uh, thank you very much.